play for Renaissance fairs. Actually, no, I kind of want to go to the sunken vessel. Get that big buff thing going. 93. How do I feel about the sunken vessel, Kyle? I guess we just got that one, but... All right, sunken vessel to city event first. Seems like it's going to be a place with lots of treasure chests that hurt us. Exactly. <laughs> or, well, not the hurting us part. <laughs> uh, returning to Gloomhaven after your outing, you are approached by the captain of the guard at the city gates. Ah, I was Just hoping. Fucker I... again? Ah, I was hoping I might catch you here sooner or later. He says, "I have still been receiving reports of large flying lizards from the scouts. Tell me, have you gotten to the bottom of that situation yet? Lie and say that you are still working on it, or..." Tell the captain you decided not to kill the Elder Drake. Oh, yeah, that's right. We officially didn't kill the Drake, and then unofficially killed him. <clears throat> well, let's see. Do we have anybody that's good at lying? I mean, I'm Sunkeeper. I'm not good at lying, so... But you're, like, trustworthy? So maybe you lying would be good? But you might also be, like, too paladin-like and basically force us to tell the truth. Yeah, I th think we should just tell the truth. Tell the captain you decided not to kill the other Drake. All right. Oh, my. Well, okay. Captain looks at you with stunned, cu with stunned curiosity. So there is a massive fire-breathing Drake up in the mountains, and you decided there was no reason to kill it. I mean, it is up in the mountains. The captain wanders off, mumbling about needing to find better help. Lose two reputation. <laughs> well, it only matters if we're going to buy anything. I, I can tell you that's still the better option. Okay. Because yeah. the other option is to... Well, with clearly you about didn't. It, uh, no, well, it's, it's still lose one reputation, but it goes back in the deck. Ah. Uh, because you have to keep lying to him. Got it. So by the way... You've told yeah. so Because you, you, you don't tell him that... Like, he, oh yeah, we killed him, but it's just a different dragon. Yeah, it's just, it's just lie... Lie and say you are still working on it. Mm -hmm. So I might have to... We might not be able to do a sunken vessel. Do we have a map to treasure the party achievement? Yes, that's how we got it. That's how we got it. Okay. Yeah, so that was part of the thing. Got it. So that we, was, okay. gave us the map also. Uh, that was part of the... We paid 20 gold for the map, which gave us the achievement. A map to treasure. A map to treasure. Got it. And unlocked it. Okay. Just making sure. Mm-hmm. That's what Kyle was talking about. Was like we just got it, and this is actually linked to Gloomhaven, so we don't have to do a uh, road event. How? How is this linked to Gloomhaven? So it says right on it, links Gloomhaven. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Or make I guess any maybe sense. it's linked take... because it was a, from a city event, probably. So like we, it's linked because that's where we got it from. Hmm. So. Yeah, didn't like we buy the map? I think we yeah, bought we, the map. We bought the something. map in, in Gloomhaven. That's yeah. how we got it. I kind of want to do a road event, though. Gal, what's your feelings on this? Sure. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot to buy it. Bless. Wait, why do we have so few blesses? Do I already have the bless? Did we save my blesses in? We apparently saved my blesses in. We saved the blesses in. Did you How buy blesses you again? Thing? No. Well, I mean, I did. I just okay. did now. I need, I need to mark it. Yes. <clears throat> I figured I could help get that number of invested ticking up mm -hmm. with the money I have. Are you also earned? Yeah, I thought I saw you grabbing blesses. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yep. I actually got some money. I'm just looking at some thing real quick. Still level five. How many stars you got left, Kyle? What? How many stars you have left? Three. Three. I have six. I forgot to mark that yet. So 
What do we have? We have living spirits, frost demons, and lurkers. My favorite. What? You they get pierce shields them? and pierce. Shields, pierce, retaliate. Yeah. Not a melee's best friend for sure. Retaliate, I don't mind too much because I can do range decently well. Have you saved recently, Pat? You must have stepped away. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't saved yet. Um. I haven't saved since we came back yet. Okay. <coughs> Are you ready for a save? Yeah. With your blesses in your decks? Yeah. You know, other than having blesses in our decks. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll remove them after this. Nah, yeah, that's saved. Sweet. Um, I need to mark down two of those, but then. It's 4.30 and 4.40. Plays it. Um, I mean, no one, no one smokes a joint in like ten minutes, right? Like you, you blaze for a while. Yeah. Kyle's showing that he has no idea about smoking marijuana. He doesn't even know where to get the reefer. <laughs> the reefer. The reefer. It would have been better if it was plural. The reefers? The reefers. <laughs> Jimmy took three marijuana, injected three marijuanas, and died. <laughs> he tickled Aaron. Oh, yeah, what was the road event? I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, okay. Flying Drakes. If they're red, leave them alone. Okay, rid of it. It's dead. You're charging through some foothills when you hear the strangest sound in the distance. It sounds vaguely like wolves howling, but higher pitched, and there's a rhythm and a melody to it. You crest a nearby hill and survey the area, spying a pack of vermlings standing standing in a circle and singing. Singing is the best way you can describe... Uh, Best in way you can the think jungle, it. the mighty jungle, the vermin lean. Occasionally during the song, they also clap and dance around. <laughs> Option A. The song must hey, serve Macarena. some nefarious purpose. Attack the vermlings. Option B. Move closer and enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. Yes. I'm good with enjoying I mean... the music. So I feel like going up and enjoying is just going to get them upset anyways, because it's going to be like some private ritual. So they're just going to attack us, whereas if we attack and them they're first... they're going to attack us. Where if we attack them first, we oh. might be better off. Oh, it doesn't say like you're necessarily moving like up to them. I mean, it's just closer. So you in, in, games, in games like this, closer means easier to see. Yes, he wants to attack. I, I mean, I wasn't saying that. I'm just... Oh, okay, then what do you want to do? Making making audible the two <laughs> options. He, he, wants to, he wants to say the other one, so that way when we're, something bad happens, he'll be like, see, I told you. Yeah. Well, no, because when I do that is when I literally say, no, we shouldn't do that thing. And then you guys go, nope, we're doing it. <laughs> and then we get fucked. Uh, so I'm still saying move. Enjoy the music. All right, let's go enjoy the music. All right. I, I support us going and enjoying the music. Not wanting to disturb the ritual, you uh, you inch a little closer, staying out of sight, and then sit and listen. They go through a number of different tunes, and you'll feel enriched, and you feel enriched by the experience. Gain three experience each. Ooh. Right, cool. That one's We're next level. Yep. The other choice was take damage and poison. So. And that was the thing, like. <clears throat> either we attack and somehow slaughter them without ever taking any damage which to be fair we have there are scenarios 
road events where that happens. Mm -hmm. I was like, you would have gotten attacked anyway, so... All right, so we will be starting on the beach. I will read the map. I will read the thing. So goal here is to kill everything. You clutch the faded map to your chest as if it were a blanket protecting you from the strong northern winds. You've been sailing your small rented ship along the coast for what feels like ages, looking for this forgotten ship shipwreck. Maybe if you hold the map closer, that will make it its charts and figures more accurate and, deci and decipherable. With little hope remaining, you finally catch a glimpse of a foreboding island on the horizon. As it gets closer, you see the definite outline of a battered ship pinioned against the island shoals, half sunk and barely held together. You sail around to the far side of the island, where a remote and inviting beach allows for safer anchoring. The thought of what treasure awaits you on board the ship now warms you against the wind, but your thoughts also turn toward what dangers might be guarding it. As your dinghy, dinghy, dinghy? makes its way to the shore, you see a school of lurkers rise up from the surf to greet you. Who knows how long they've been waiting for your ship, been following your ship from the depths, waiting for the opportune time to strike. Special rules. All characters start with the mobilize. Now. now is a terrible time for them to show up. Attack us when we're out in the middle of the fucking ocean where we can't do anything. You we can sail away. Lurkers. Come sail away. Not if they can apparently mobilize us. Where do we start? That that's why not, why, no. why are we immobilized? That doesn't make any sense. Because no. we're trudging we through the beach. Are we stuck in the boat? Are we? I think this is supposed to represent the beach. Crab but... people butts. So you can I start mean, on any any water tile. Any water tile. Yep. I Except assume, for the end two. I assume we got lurkers in here. Oh yeah, we're coming in from the water. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yes, we have two regular work lurkers and a elite worker. Lurker. Not worker. They're not workers. Lurker. Three, four, five. They target two with Pierce. This will be fun. Hazardous strain. How much does that do now? Uh, it does half trap damage round half. Enough. Okay, half. Down? Up, down? Doesn't matter, it's three. <laughs> it doesn't matter for this scenario, anyways. Nope, because we're on five, so it's seven for trap damage now. Is it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then four. Seven. I will tell you if it's round. I believe it's rounded down, but I'll let's go to check. Well, just don't stand on it. Rounded down. Rounded so three. Down. So three. I mean, we can stand far enough apart that they can't hit two people. Well, I guess you said the last two as in, like, this spot and this spot, or...? Correct. The end two. So yeah. the very one, end one over here and the very end one over here. Yeah, so I mean, we could pull a, something like that. I don't like being the one that's closest to the elite. Well, then you go stand in the fucking corner. Yeah, basically, if you're. Well, be, uh, here, let's. We can do this. And then if you stand between. What the hell? How do we do this? Because otherwise you're going to get attacked anyways because they're multi-target. Just get hit yeah, by one. Get hit by one. Yeah, this... Well, here. Okay, then let's switch so I'm closer to the door so I don't have to run as far. There. So, how we had it? How we had it, yeah. That's... <laughs> and it was almost like it was a reason that it was that way. Um... We kind of just instinctually figured it out, so... Yeah. I 
well. How about that? How about that local team? Ah, given we can't move and I'm purely melee. Well, this one's gonna attack us no matter what. I guess it's better than Pat though. Well, that sucks. their movement movement three one two three well then we might as well stand next to well i guess it doesn't matter because it's the only one's gonna hit us both yeah mm -hmm. okay. that's fine uh well i think i should still probably oh that's right i got this we'll do that then that's fine we'll do this waste both my fast cards right away there we go we're gonna go loco they have shield. They do have shield. Yep. Let's go with that. Let's go with... Hmm. I could do that. Okay. They don't have range, do they? Nope. Do you want me to mobilize these two, Kyle? Which ones? The two that I can reach. Might as well. Save us from getting hit. In which case, then I don't need to do this. Are you going relatively quick? I will go as quick as I can do to do the thing that I want to do. It will have to be good enough. Well, let's, let's just do the smart thing. It's always nice to play two cards that, well, maybe I'll just flip it if, depending on what comes up. But this just seems like the better, more simple solution. <clears throat> okay, we'll I don't ahead. need to do four damage that badly. And go. 26. 41. And I got 91. Oh, they're going to target one enemy with all attacks. So I'm first. <clears throat> I, I mobilize those two that are within range three of me. Okay. The elite then four, uh, five and four. Okay. And then I will shoot uh, Lurker four for four damage. Uh, before that, I will use my pendant on the elite. Okay. So a curse there. Then I'll shoot my uh, Lurker four for five damage. Five damage. A wind. One shield. And a curse. And a curse. Yep. And then I will use my ring of brutality to axe painful hex. Okay. Uh, so this one's gonna run up and whack me with all attacks, so two. And his base attack is four. Yep, yeah, uh, so that'd be five damage with two pierce. Do I have to do I still have to pop these things even though Still have to pop these things even though the shield things even though i'm no you can uh this you don't have to this you do okay so then that'll happen once because it says on the next three sources mm -hmm. this Five, one four. you can choose when you use it anything that has a token is already active okay so it's already happening mm -hmm. all right and what's his base attack for Okay, cool. All right, uh, Kyle, you're up. Okay, we're gonna make a piercing lightning bolt. I guess is really how that is. those two combine. Um, yeah. So we're gonna attack. Elite, Earth. since he's got more shield. Shield. Elite, yes. So that's five. Seven damage. Seven damage. Eight with poison. Eight with poison. And you generate me light. I love you, Kyle. That seems a little excessive. Not really, but you know. Uh, so the question is, do I want to save it for next turn or not? I think I'm not going to. So I'll just burn the light for a seven damage attack. 
I, I roll a light. Eight damage to my guy. So seven damage gets through. I generate a light and Kyle is strengthened. Hey. And okay. I'll pop my shield. And now we can move. And now we can move. Actually, I should probably go help Pat, shouldn't I? I like help. I mean, he's only getting attacked by one thing. It is a true statement. I also yeah. don't actually mind being attacked all that much. Because, but... I mean, I don't mind dying. <laughs> is this true? It would make yeah, our actually mark that in. easier if you didn't die. Meh. More loot for us. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Luck of Fault 3. No, let me kill him. I was going to push him. But I can handle that my way. Okay. I handled it my way. So you're, are you going to push him? No. Okay, thank you. Flip. <laughs> 12. 25. 72. Not that, not that you could stop me. Yep, not with a 12. Target all adjacent enemies. Ooh. Oh, perfect. He's not moving. <clears throat> Nobody's moving. Yep. All right. So I believe I am first. So I'm going to start up reinforced steel. And I'm going to move Mia and push him Mia. She takes four damage. Three damage. I think it's a, it was rounded, it's rounded down. down. Nope. I checked the rule book. It's rounded oh, down. Oh, the Ohor. I believe I said such things. I don't think you did. So, six damage with advantage. Whoops. Uh, seven damage and a shield, which is enough to kill it. And also, I made no use of your strengthened at all. <laughs> That's okay. It's usually the first card I get rid of. Let's see, so then it's lurkers, which don't do anything because there's nothing adjacent to them, and then Pat. Me? Yes, sir. Oh my god. All right, yeah. So, I'm going to step two and curse. And then I will curse and wound everyone. Okay. Including you. There's right. Pat taking the troll cards. I think I'm going to head in the next room. Chris and his allies just thought he's got a better chance of exhausting. Hey, it also hurts them. Frost demons, spirits, odds are frost demons. A likely excuse. I'm ready. Look. Oh, that was not ready. 
I mean, Kyle thought about being ready, and Kyle changed his mind. <laughs> Alright. 41. 41. 59. 59. Kyle, you're first. They are attacking and wounding. Ah! Okay. I will hit the two of them with my ballista. So look a five. Takes four damage. Four, Just five. Two. Three damage. So he will be dead on his turn. Okay. And the other one's a miss. Alright. Okay, uh, so the elite goes, he dies from the wound. The non elite is gonna run up. Uh, wait, I also right? heal off the wound and heal up the damage that I took from the wound, so. Still at max health! You'll treat that as an obstacle and not go around or not go through it. Correct. And he's gonna do three damage. Two damage and wound to Pat. I mean I was, I I was dead in seven turns. Eleven turns. I was also going to move. Oh, where are you moving? Yes. So one, two, three, oh. four. Oh, he's not protecting me. He's just running away. I am advent. You want to die? I never said it was a bad idea. Okay, he reveals room. I need a regular lurker, an elite lurker, and an elite frost demon. Uh, one six. Frost demon is fine. With 20 health. Frost Demon is shielding and then moving. One since he is moving okay. three. Okay. Uh, and then that was the attack on Pat. We already did that. And now the other ones are going to go. Did he take his wound damage? Yes. Okay. Talk of the monster? Yeah. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. They're done. Uh, well, you actually go next two, don't you, technically? Movement plus one, so you got five movement. One, two, three, four, five. It actually doesn't affect anything, so... I did do it out of order, but... Uh, I think you're up next, Pat. 59. Alright, so... I will move... One, two, three... One, two, three, four... And shoot that lurker in front of me for three damage with two pierce. Five damage, two pierce. Five damage, two pierce. Okay. Um, that's my turn. I will oh. actually use this and pull back uh, you. I also take three, damage. Four, <gasps> yeah. Gasp. Do that, and then it's a four attack stun against the frost demon. Ten turns till I'm dead. I really want to hit the frost demon. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it. Four damage and stun. Five damage I mean, and stun. Hit the looker instead. You even stun it. Oh, wait, you have a shield. You even kill it. He does have a shield. Uh, so Two shield. Less. Stun and retaliate. And retaliate of what? Three? Three. So this rolling doesn't do me any good. <clears throat> and then I will pop a stamina potion. And a light. Probably want to have my jump back. If you go slow next time, I can generate light for you instead. 
Mid. Nice Upper step. mid, slow. You're generating light for me, which means I'll probably use you to get it, and then I need... Uh, where's my move with light? Probably you. Okay. So I will go slow. Tyler, are you moving up? No. Okay. And try to use the light you're giving me. Okay. Alright. I'm ready. Yep, flip. 41. 87. 71. 23 and... Okay. So the lurkers so, are gonna go first. Uh, they're gonna shield. Shield move attack. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Yep. You're towards Cal. He's yep, faster. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, this guy took a hit. He actually has true target, so he's gonna go there. Oh, hey. Also true. Which one is faster? Uh, Kyle. Okay. So it's. Three, four damage to Kyle with two pierce, and two damage to Pat with two pierce. And then it's Kyle's turn. Not sure if every draw needs a shuffle, but with all the curses going in, it's just it's like the only way I can ensure that. <laughs> but you pulled the card, and then you shuffled and pulled the second card. Oh yeah. You shuffled in between trying cards. Okay. That was what I was laughing at. Okay, gotcha. I understood the first shuffle. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to attack Lurker... 4. Not not to do next to us? Well, because I'm attacking range. Oh, okay. I thought you are uh, Okay. So yes. I don't want to be disadvantaged. Yep. And I'm ignoring a shield. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I, 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 I didn't see the lurk behind you. Got it. I'm like, how are you reaching him? Got it. Doubting me again. Yep. There's a times two. You did? I think so. so. Good thing I didn't go disadvantage, otherwise that blessed would go going to waste. Unless you pull both. It's still more of a waste than <laughs> even more of a waste. Yeah, so he's dead. That's my yep. turn. And we get sun. Sweet. Uh, Pat. Uh, no, Frost Demon. He's stunned. No, me. I'm 71. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I am going to curse and wound everyone. Could you not? So there's what, three monsters? One, Again, two, two, three. I feel like you're doing more harm to us than them. Uh, and then I will heal the wound off of Kyle. Also, Kyle heal too. And I will heal the wound off me and heal too also. And then I will use... Stamina potion. I will pull back. You. Hello, is you good? Our good pat. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm Oops. going to attack five advantage, and then generate a light. Uh, there's a times two. There's a bless, I should say. So that's five, ten damage to him, and I take three retaliate. I think I might have missed the retaliate last time. Don't remember. You talked about it not doing you any good, or your shield not doing you any good, but I don't know if you actually took the damage or not. I'll take an extra three then. And then I gotta move, so I might as well... One, two, three, four, five, four, five. Here we go. We'll just be here. Well, he should come my way. Who? Lurker. Uh, 
Aaron considers anything behind him dead already, so. I see that. If he can't see it, it doesn't exist. Yeah. You guys got this, right? I'm gonna go over here and get all the treasure. It's the reason why I insisted we go to the sunken island Vessel. instead. Whatever. Uh, treasure I'm good. the lost island. I hope 16. All trapped. 18 and 38. Okay. Uh, so 14. Uh, what is these guys doing? Target enemy with all attacks. Got a regular move. Good three. news, Pat. You may exhaust sooner than you want. Yay! I will just stay put then and generate light. Line them up. I, I, guess will, move. I will move two. And I will actually move three using my boots. Two, three, four. Mm. So that's that. No nearby allies, no healing goes out. Uh, but I then shoot the frost demon and the lurker for one damage poison curse each. Yep. So, Lurker first, he takes two damage, Sweet. plus poison. And curse. Uh, Frost Demon. I shoot for poison curse, one, and a stun. And two times, so two damage. Two damage, stun, and the last curse. Was he poisoned already? No. He wasn't I, poisoned I, already, okay. I was finally going to melee attack so I could use my dagger. So this is the uh, the Kraken, right. uh, I'm Kraken done. one. However, this is a much older version. It's about four months old, and Next there's a lot of demon, missing elements from what the stunned, so he just loses health from what the guy currently has. So yep. technically, it's our custom mod. Then God, nope, lurker. lurker. Should attack elite. One, one, two, two three. three, four. One, two, three, four. I had lower initiative, would, so... You did have initiative. Yep. Now one attacks me. Okay, uh, he's going to hit you for four damage twice. Miss, he's dead. He's dead. Hooray for your curse thing. Your turn, Kyle. All right, I'm going to attack the Frost Demon for five. Generating sun. It wasn't already up. Uh, muddle, plus one, six damage. Plenty. He did. Even with it. Oh no, he didn't even get the two shields. Yeah, he definitely did. Okay, and then I'm just going to use the bottom of this card to move and pick up a coin. Okay. Continue to run away. <laughs> brave, you don't brave, know me. Brave, brave, Sir Robin. Actually, by rights, I should let him get up to me first, and then I can actually run away. I don't think I can kill him in one hit. So right, I'm ready. Ah, actually, no. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go quick. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Twenty-six. 25. 26. I don't know why I went 26. I didn't and 28. Magic. Wow, we're all within three numbers. Okay, Kyle, what, uh, what's your other number? 98. I'm 76, so I go before you. Okay, uh, I move up there. and do a 7 damage attack. Stun. Miss. Miss. Awesome. But he's stunned, so... If you don't kill him, at least I won't take a hit to the face. And I'm up. I will move one. Uh, I can't take the coin. Two. I mean, good. You just won't actually be helpful then. Yeah, I won't be able to shoot him then. And then I will shoot him for four damage. Plus curse. Plus 
So five damage, and curse, and okay. I generate wind. Curse. Okay. So two shield, three got by. Uh, Kyle. All right. Okay. I'm gonna move six with my boots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll refresh a consumed item. Spent item? Consumed. I think it's consumed. So Kyle, one thing is you could actually choose to end on a on an obstacle. It's just you take trap damage. Well that doesn't exactly. seem advantage advantageous but to you, me. You you could when you hit there you fall off. So you choose where you fall off to, oh. I believe. So it would be a way to basically spend hit points to move up. I'm just giving you the option, just so you know. Gotcha. Well, I'm still probably gonna not. No, oh, that's yeah. But thanks. Okay, I'm gonna short rest. Short rest. Who short rests? Maybe that's fine. That's fine. Maybe that that's when you're you, when you lose flying if you're in a hex. Yes. Oh. Then that happens. I don't think it's a okay. valid move to do it if you don't have flying. Correct. I was, I was treating jump as having short-term flying. This is the other reason that having those rolling pierce cards are stupid. I have the ability to ignore all shields. Shields. Why do I ever need to pierce? <clears throat> um, let's see. What do I want to do? Other than incidental shields that I don't expect. This and this. Like, oh, this skeleton decided to heal and shield for the turn. Well, now I can pierce it. Yay. Ready. Hip, flip. 18. 41. 31. The speed I go every turn. 41. And he is also 41, so he's last. Attack, move, and wound. Aaron, what do you wish to do? I'm going to pop my wings for the final room. But And move two. Good. I'm up. I'm going to move six. Jump. Are you generating light this turn? Three, four, five, yep. Six. Okay. Again, it's the it's my standard move when yep. it comes to things with shields. And then I'm going to be in melee with me. I'm going to be muddling him. Okay. And doing two damage. So nothing. But he's muddled. But he's muddled. Yep. All right. Kyle, My turn. Your turn. Ignoring your shield. Attack five. Six. Seven. Muddle. Nine damage. And he'll die on his turn. And. Which is now. He goes and dies. And we get some. Those were some good rollers on this turn. No kidding. <laughs> Plus four, yeah. I okay. Yes, I guess I'll take well, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna long rest. You're gonna long rest. I'm gonna burst in the door. Seems like a good plan. It's my hardest hitting attack, probably you and you. So you're gonna take a turn to get up here, Kyle. I assume, right? Yeah, I can get up to you guys. That's fine. I'll go in. <laughs> But I can't get in necessarily. I mean, they're both technically the same. It's just. You know, I'll save that one in case. Okay. Um, there isn't really any. I guess I did fuck up not taking my refresh card then. Didn't realize I was going to need to do another big move without being able to attack. So. Whoops. I've still got all of this stuff left. Yeah, okay. I am ready for the final room. Just pop the wings and go rah! Do that. Final room? This isn't the final room. Oh, there's another door, isn't there? I see that now. <laughs> 66. 56. Alright, go ahead. Alright, uh, first two. <clears throat> review the room. Alright, we need... One, two, three, four living spirits and a frost demon. All regulars. Four living spirits. Four 
living spirits. Hey, look, more shields. Wonder what combo I'm going to keep pulling. It's the ghosts of the dead. Woo. Well, that's good that the frost demon goes after them. Otherwise, I'd get stunned. Spooky. Oh. Still got two movement left on this thing. Don't worry, they'll be in the back of the room. I can generate my own light. Hence why I bought the potion. These are stun and damage traps. Yeah. Thank goodness they all fly. Right. Except for the frost demon. Oh, yeah. Well, you can reach one of them. Technically, too. All right. There you go. They're going to be able to hit me no matter what. The frost demon only has two movement. So I can actually avoid getting hit by him if I don't go in further. So it looks like I'll go here then. So oh, I'll have you go in all right. Three mm -hmm. movements. I'm going to use the light, but I'll be using my potion all to get right. the light back. This will be a five, six, seven, ten damage, wound, and advantage. Twenty damage. I think I killed it. I don't know, it's got some pretty big shields. Alrighty then. I like this card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta move the tracker. Uh, there. Okay. Ah, uh, Kyle, you were what, 26? Yes. Okay, you're up. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna move one, two, three, Wait, what was four, yours? five, six. Hmm? What was your cards? I opened the door. Yeah. How did you go before him if his if he was twenty six? Oh, okay, yeah. He was sixty six. Oh, he must sorry, sixty six. Yeah, sorry. Yes, okay. I was. I, still, I went, it's still no, the same order, but it, it, I had to go look at the cards over here. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. I I I went slow because I needed Aaron to move because mm -hmm. I was moving into his spot. Mm -hmm. uh, so they got two movement and a range of four. One, two, three, four, so they don't have to move. Uh, three attacks coming at me for four damage apiece. That's two cards. That is, well, Both of which are curses. Um, so the first one would be one, three damage, three damage, three damage. three damage. Hey, look at that. And now the frost demon moves two. One, Those are some two. good curse pulls. Okay, uh, now it's Kyle's turn. Well, technically, I think he would have gone in between, but whatever. No, he went before them. He had 66. <gasps> oh. He already went. Got it. I'm here now. <laughs> Hi. 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 Heidi ho, neighborino. Coming to help with our pest problem. Well, we might no. as well use our next big attack. Gonna come hinder the process. Also a good plan. True story. Yeah. I'm ready. Good. All right. Flip. 56. 25. 16. That is first. Right. Just barely beaten up by living spirits. I activate my flying. Is that really necessary? We wind. Yes. It is if you want to save us. Uh, and then I will move to and curse the frost demon. Okay. You moved exactly where I needed to go. All right. So the. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a two movement, so I can't go any farther. Frost Demon goes, he just shields up. 
and you guys are cursing all enemies within range, so I should probably try to kill one of you instead. Um, I'm consuming the light and generating the light. This is 5, 6, 7, 10 damage, advantage wound. Uh, did I shuffle this? I did not. I literally could have added in as many curses as you did. Eleven. And done damage. So the spirit's dead. Easily, obviously. And then, Pat, you are strengthened. Woo! Yeah. Oh, good. And you're strengthened, too. Yep. That's, that's helpful. Yep. And then this goes again. And I'll pop a stamina potion. Did you just do nothing then, Kyle? I can move here. Light, light, light. We got three light attacks. What, what was your speed? So do this. 56. So you go after the demon, so, or the living spirit. Because they're, they're cursing. They, they have movement, and they'll hit as many people as they can. But they have enough range. They're not going to stand in the doorway. Yeah, they're not gonna, I'm not standing there. I'm just trying to figure out where they're moving to to hit you. Oh. That's the that's what I was trying no, no, to figure. No, they're out. not going to move to hit him. They're going to move towards the nearest target, and then if he's in range, they'll curse. Ah, uh, that's true. They're doing an attack. It's also true. Um, so they'll this will still move here. He will still move there. And then. <coughs> oh yeah, that's actually better. They have a range. No, I can actually they just arm one of them. So yeah, everybody they, gets two. All, all three of us get two curses. But the uh, living spirit I'm adjacent to is disarmed. Okay, so living spirit two is disarmed. And I need to short rest. Oh, you don't want to attack? Since he's adjacent. No, I guess I can do a basic attack. Times two, four damage. That kills it. All he's absorbed, dead. wasn't it? He'd want oh, he's not elite. Never mind. Um. I don't really want to lose that. Though I really don't want to lose that more, but too bad. Guess I should have thought of that sooner. <laughs> All the curses. Oh, yeah, I guess that is the better way. Oh no, then I should have done the five advantage because that was going to run out this turn yeah that so I need the light to make advantage then since I've only got one more attack with that alrighty then Always I'm ready and Kyle's long resting no oh. I was short resting Since I can't reach the spirit. <laughs> hmm. Fifty-six. Fourteen. Eighty-four. Uh, Fifty-eight, seventy-five. So I go first. Using this as a base one move to grab the coin. Stack, please. Please. Okay. Uh, I'm using the light as the last of this attack. So that's six, nine damage, wound, and advantage. Don't think I had anything in there. Okay, so nine damage, wound, and advantage. So it's nine damage, wound, advantage to him. And then I take three retaliate back. And this card is used up. Yep. Okay. Alrighty then. 
So I'm next then. Mm-hmm. I will attack the living spirit. Five, six, seven damage. He did. He, did. he is dead. Then I will move here and disarm Frost Spirit. All right. Good. All righty then. Next up is the Frost Spirit. He does nothing. Takes and a hand. Takes damage. Yep. Then me. Then you. I will move four. One, two, three, four. I need an Elite Spirit and a regular Spirit. I need an old priest and a young priest. Oh, Christ compels you. Yeah, the spirit already revealed, so they will do what they were going to do. That's right, Pat. You tanked that door. That's a lot of coins. Well, probably going to go invisible. Uh, then I'm going to use my boots to move a little bit farther. Right here. How much damage are they doing? Plus, Plus attack. So five and four base. With eight curses right. in the deck. That was this move. I will... I will muddle them. So, one damage. Uh, first, I'm going to use this to poison and curse the elite. Okay. Then, starting with the elite, I do poison and a miss. All right. So then, the regular one, I do two damage. Okay. And they're both muddled. Yep. All right. That is it. Last up are the spirits. They're both going to attack you. I'm gonna move. They're gonna move back first. The elite is going to hit you for five damage. Five damage. Okay, I will ignore it by dropping this card. The other one's gonna hit you for four. Six damage. I will ignore it by dropping this card. You could have gotten exhausted this turn. Took enough right. damage. All right, next turn. Wait, I don't want to drop. Oh, I didn't want to drop that one. I wanted to drop this one. This one. There we go. Oh, that one. All right. Well, my advantage is gone, so I should probably. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so I definitely need you. And we'll hit the hard as we can, I guess. Okay. 26. 25. 26. And I go first. Okay. What's your other card? 76. So I go first. One, two, three, four, five. Three from that. Smack him. Smack him in the face. From the boots. And I'm going to hit the non-elite for 6 damage and advantage. Uh, 5 damage to the non-elite. Minus 3, so 2 damage. 2 gets through. Yep. And I got rid also, of Aaron, when they attacked and they were muddled, did they pull muddle on the me? You haven't attacked yet. Uh, last turn. Oh, Remember, I attacked not. them before that. Uh, nope. Alright, so then one missed. One missed. So I have to take the card back. I forgot about the model. And then whichever one right. you use next. Ah, uh, that's me. I'm going to loot two, which hoovers up a lot of stuff. Well... Pat gets all the gold. The scenario then. There's still there's still a whole bunch right up by you. All of it. Hope you're right. <laughs> all of it for 
All right, and then the chest. Doomed compass. <laughs> I'll grab that in a little bit. So that was the loot, and then I'm going to shoot the. Uh, um, I'll shoot the elite. Soften them up. For four base damage. Uh, I'll use my power potion, make it six base damage. I'll actually use my volatile bomb and hit both of them. So six damage to and a poison. And another curse. So two curses. Uh five damage and a poison. Five damage, so two three gets by because of its poison and you added one curse. Yep. Yep. Uh, non elite. Non elite takes six damage and a curse. Uh yep, he dies. Alrighty then. Alright, I'll loot the two coins in this room. And then I'll move one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, now the spirit is gonna go. The spirit is gonna hit me for four damage. Actually, sorry, he's going to take a step back. So he's going to hit me for four. Three damage. Minus two, minus one. Frost Demon goes and dies. Okay, next turn. Okay, I'm going to short rest. I don't want to lose that, so I will instead... Lose health instead of losing health. I will discard two cards out of here. <laughs> Not that one. I think you need to get a new. And mouse. then I lose this card. We can delay a turn if you want. That'd be nice. Why? He just took all the gold. There's still more. There's you literally left a coin behind. I didn't leave a coin behind. I left an enemy behind. <laughs> yeah, you could have waited. The all you had to do is stand there. What you doing, Pat? Uh, these two cards, since they're all I have. Flip. Eighteen. Twenty-six. One. So are you going to grab these two coins, Kyle? No. No? Okay, well then I will grab Trying to kill the thing. He's trying to make it so that way I have to play this character longer, so that way I have to keep trying to exhaust, so that way I keep stealing all this stuff. I bless Kyle. Cool. I'll take this coin. Feel blessed. And I'll walk over here. What does he do? Everybody in range. That's fine. He's just sound, isn't he? Oh no, he's poisoned. Uh, so he's going to move two and hit all of us, starting with me for three damage. I mean, I could have gone damage. stunned him, but then I would have wanted to attack him, and then I'd get in trouble. Kyle takes four and misses Pat. Yep. Well, at least he never drew a curse, because that would have killed him. Uh, yeah, two, three, four, five. Well, you just would have discarded it. Does not matter. Oh, that's true. As has happened before. Alright. And I short rest. And I'm exhausted. So if you stay... So Kyle, if you hit him... Nah, oh, you can mind. do it. I'll long rest. 
You're long resting? Sure. Okay, then I'm long resting too. Uh, so he actually no, I I don't need to long rest. I'll just use. <laughs> and I'll use that. Okay. Flip. I mean, I can short rest really, but. 14, I don't want to lose one, that card. Two, three, four. And I pop my retaliate. Yeah, I'll move. You don't get that coin. I get that coin. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to refresh an item. Guess what I'm going to get back. Okay, he's going to attack me for five damage. Six damage. Five damage? Five damage. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, two, four, five. And then, yeah. All right. Six. Attacking two targets. I go one, two, and strengthen Kyle. Cool. I'm gonna move down here. Kyle, kill the fucking spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> I hate you so much. Um, What's I'm wrong? Don't want your tick. Yes, I don't want my tick. Ah, uh, he can't. Can't kill me, any so. more monsters. <laughs> can't you wound it? Oh. Well, let's do this then. I'll come back and kill the thing. No, you you can keep going that way. I'll just exhaust myself. All right, let's go. Way back. Uh, you guys, you go first then. Not on the trap. Not on the trap. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I give up. It's really not that hard. <laughs> I'll do it for you then. Uh, uh, ring or earring to get the shit back. Alright, I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. The thing didn't move, so I can't hit it yet. He's going to hit me Echo. for five, six, seven, minus two, four, six. I take a uh, damage. And he loses his poison. All right, next round. I was there. I'm going to long rest. Oh, wait, that wasn't there, was it? That's from the previous round, so I actually do take two damage. Maybe I short rest. You know what, I'm also going to short rest with the two cards in my discard. Turn six. 14. 48. All allies, range five, move four. Oh, that works too. And then I shield myself. I kill the thing. It's dead. Auto kill. Oh, GG. Oh. <laughs> and someone didn't want me wandering around the map picking up all the coins. I'll support the team. I couldn't kill any elites. That was the problem. Pat killed the normal one instead of the elite. I have to get seven or less experience. I got four. There you go. 
I did get 13. I got nowhere near that. Yeah. I could have easily gotten it. It's just also really easy to avoid experience mm -hmm. with the uh, quartermaster. Well, then I should have gotten late then. What was I doing? Anyway. All right, so. Everyone ready? Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, we never. What was the conclusion to that? Well, uh, just a second. Nothing. There was nothing there. It wasn't even a ship. It was a mirage. The spirits seem calm. The lurkers have retreated. You have looted what you can from the ship and very eager and are very eager to sail back to Gloomhaven to get your feet onto warm, dry land. You take one last look at the strange island and its impaled ship, and then do exactly that. Gain ten experience. Yay! Sweet. Great. the shield that's right remember you only get a minus four discount right now i was well i'm just more shopping for when i do want to finally buy something i only got 21 right now yeah i also don't have much gold are you over 100 now i've been 150. over 100 for a while so that's that's what you were complaining about is me taking all the gold while you have 150 gold sitting there I need to upgrade a level 9 card. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah, I think... No, it's either Sun Earring or... You're not making it possible for me to add the card I'm supposed to add. Oh, there you go. You did it. What? Remember I got an item? Oh, you oh, you're talking to me. Okay. I thought you were yeah. complaining at the game. I, I added the item into the deck. Ah. Oh, Doom Compass, yeah. What, what is that? Uh, on your turn, force an enemy within range 5 to m make a move to action. What'd you do? Throw it at the bottom? I yeah, they shuffled deck. it. Did you throw it in and shuffle it? No. Now oh, it's Dark Packs. Or something that looks relatively circular, you think, right? Where is this damn thing? It's gone. It's imaginary. In the updated mod, he has uh, added just in her name description, so you can search by name. Hmm. -mm. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's not in here. Well, like I said, I tried to add it while Aaron was looking at it, so... Oh, is it just on top of the deck, then? No. No, because otherwise you would be able to grab it. Hmm. He's gone. We don't have. There you go, it's back. Now let's look again. Rip. There we go. Drink yeah, I went and grabbed another one. Yeah, I know, that's that's what I mean. There you go, finally can see it. Oh, I was yeah, deleting this shit. I don't know what exactly the doomed portion of it is, but... You're forcing him to walk into a trap. Or towards you, or away from you, or... Oh, I get it. You're making him walk the plank. Yeah. That makes far more sense. That's why I was on the ship. Yep. You thought the captain just had charisma. And yes, I wanted those extra coins. Kyle, you always want the extra coins. 
Exactly. I need them. I'm the quartermaster. I'm basically funding this city. <laughs> we built this. Oh, that's right. There's blesses in the deck. I'm surprised you haven't bought another item. I'm not really anything else I need. Meh. I mean, there's stuff I could get, but meh. You could always get something like the, one of the rings or something. I mean, I can only have four smalls, can't I? Five. You hit nine. Nine is five? Okay. Oh. Yep. It's what your level is. It's half your level rounded up. I mean, I could get one of the rings. The rings aren't that useful, How in my opinion. Are supposed to be in here? Ten? I mean, with the exception of certain characters, like, obviously the scoundrel has big Oops. use for those items. Thank you. Thanks for sending all my <laughs> cards everywhere. I was trying to look to see if you had a blessing in your deck. No. My deck is just that big. So then we're missing two blessings? Yes, they've been gone forever. There you go. Pile of garbage. You're a pile of garbage. Boom! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Roasted. Really, if I was going to buy anything, it might be like Prosperity 8 items. Mm hmm. But I'm probably going to retire before that. Since There's a pretty business. good chance with such things. I said probably. If we somehow managed to gain, what was that, five, six more checks? Something like that. Seven, seven checks, prosperity checks, without in two, two scenarios. scenarios. Yeah, without finishing two scenarios. I guess if all we did was run casuals. Casuals yeah. that you've run Casual. before. Because you can't, casual. you can't, it doesn't count if you run the same scenario, so. Okay, we're just going to run that ship 17 more times. It also, well, yeah, it's just. 15 different scenarios. So, you, mm -hmm. so long as he doesn't. I mean, that do ship didn't actually have either. that good of gold. If we wanted to farm something, it would just be the Treasure Island. But your quartermaster hasn't done Treasure, my, Treasure Island. Oh, that's what you're saying. Okay. So we'd well, have I to mean, do we, one of the 13 that you've could, already done. Mm, it would be the... We could do Treasure Island. I'd be at 14, and then we could run Treasure Island forever. Yes. Yes. But then you would just get your gold and then retire. <laughs> Yeah, but then I could enhance stuff. So the next time he plays it, it's that much stronger. Quartermaster might be the last like class I play, or whatever. Might be what I come back to. One of your finals that In you my finals. regularly run. Main. He's, he's fun, he's powerful, he's got lots of flexibility. Tanky. Actually lets you make use of items. You mean abuse Beyond items? I think the abuse, word well, yeah. abuse was the word you're looking for. Well, I mean, like, abuse the uh, spending items. Including stamina potions? Yeah, if you run that combo. Well, your item refresh every time you get it. Yeah, yeah. Quarter exactly. Quartermaster, best class. Except for well, Sunkeeper. Sunkeeper's Sun Keeper's better. Nah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I don't know, I still like my Doomstalker. We have our favorite. Doomstalker is pretty much a scoundrel, but ranged. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Extreme range. Yeah, extreme range. With 12 cards. Mm hmm. Like, I like playing the Night, Night Shroud, but it just was. slow, I felt. Yeah. Executing is cool, but... I mean, you you really don't need the plus three jump move every turn, because if you've got... What, what is it? I can't remember the name of the damn card now. Hasten Step. You enhance Hasten Step, you gotta move six. Yeah. There aren't a lot of turns that you need to move more than six. Yes, a move nine with a jump is nice. <laughs> The problem is, is we haven't unlocked rocket boots yet. Since yeah. I think that's a random schematic. Yeah. Uh, no, that's a reward. Okay, a reward. Yep. Still in the pile. Yeah, you you don't need to lose cards with the quartermaster. Just reforge steel. 
Lost 12 cards in his whole career. Well, yeah, I was gonna say technically you're losing or forged steel then. So every scenario you played that you used it, that would be a lost card. Uh, it never actually hits the lost pile. <laughs> it's in the lost pile as soon as you play it. Which Meh. is why you can recall it. Unlike the uh, the spell we were. Anyway, I should be good for save. I already saved. Maybe well, he wanted you to do it that again. Chat. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 the whole knowing how to play the class, bringing jumping boots with him, and yeah, making. I mean, I, I've I've tricks. got jumping boots. It's the reason he has jumping boots. And really, I could. I can easily afford levitation boots. I just don't need them because I have reinforced steel. Yeah. So if you had the the thing, then like this last time you had didn't have them when there's a time you could have used them. I also, could have used them, but it was like a one further movement. Like it didn't break anything. Also, not. this doesn't allow you to actually stay in obstacles while flying wood. Sure. Which would open up the movement there. The well, it, it's good, but it, I mean, it's still a choice that you that you make. Yeah. And I mean, I really the fact that I'm trying to see if I can get enough money to enhance one of those more expensive cards. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would. Mm -hmm. There's no reason not to. Which one are you gonna? You were. Which one are you enhancing? Or planning to? I don't know. Um. Either. Uh. Either like the move to stun or the like move three stun, disarm. Stun and wound? What? No. Stun and wound, disarm and wound, poison. All kinds of stuff. Disarm and immobilize. They can't move, they can't do anything. Or do yeah. disarm and poison so that even though they can move. If they're healing that turn, they're going to get poisoned, and you cancel that anyways. It's kind of like an effective stun, then, unless they're summoning, but yeah. Yep. And really, I'd even if I didn't want to enhance either one of those effects, I'd still like to enhance them just to enhance the moves. What is Pocket Ballista? That sounds familiar. I, I have Portable Ballista. It's just not... Oh, I think he means... The only thing I would said. up... I, the only thing I'd enhance on it would be the attack. I don't care to move to enhance those two tiles, just so that it looks like an arrow. The an number arrow of times that the unquote. the number of times that there's going to be enemies in that spot, I don't think is high enough. And really, we have enough that uh, enough prosperity that I could. Enhance that card too. Right? How many can we enhance? Four? Five? Uh, Seven. Prosperity level. Oh, okay. Yeah, so plenty. Oh, but what, as I was saying before, I, I really liked the Night Shroud. I liked playing the Night Shroud. Playing the Night Shroud wasn't difficult, it wasn't engaging. It, it was, not even that it wasn't a challenge, it was the fact that you did the same thing every turn in a row. Yeah. Stay you stealth, did this thing, you, you stayed stealth. You did this thing, stayed stealth, attacked. You stayed stealth, you did, you killed the target. Like, that was, that was all you did. You would never die, but it wasn't particularly fun. Here I get to whip out a, you know... Oh, I've got a shielded target. We'll whip out the ballista and a scroll of lightning to do an unshielded attack five. I'm standing next to something without a shield. I want to hit it a bunch. We'll do a hastened step and a giant club bottom. Three attacks in the turn. As you said, very flexible. Yep. And you got the scroll of recall with a major stamina potion, so I can always get that card back. You know, if I'm just running around the map, hasten step and scroll the recall forever. 
I can get other cards back. So it's like, well, all I'm doing is moving this turn, but I'll get an extra card back. Save myself the long rest, or short rest. Yep. He's the best because he can do anything. That last time I basically attacked exclusively ranged. Because <laughs> of all the shield, yeah. Because of all the sh well, because of all the shield, and because I didn't want to keep using giant club to generate experience, because I needed to stay below. Oh yeah, I forgot to take those check marks. See, I got around to it eventually. Remember? So now I have to save again. You will in a second. <laughs> there, I now have a add target rolling modifier. And saved. Pretty good for your um, scroll of lightning then. Yep. Oh. Or a giant club if I'm in, you know, in melee with two guys. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mainly the scroll of lightning will be its main use. Or ballista, I guess. Uh, Though ballista would have to be melee, wouldn't it? Yep. It, it could still happen. What you mean? Is that how that yeah. works? I thought yeah. it would, it's it's another melee attack, and since it's it doesn't, a melee, it's, an, but... it's at a target that's not within the already the place Texas, because you mm -hmm. can already target all those. Um, and since it technically has a range of zero, because it's a melee attack, it would have to be someone else adjacent. Yep. But I mean, it could still happen. Mm -hmm. so, so then, does range do the same thing? It's a ranged AOE. Correct. I thought it. Uh, I don't know about that. If it's a ranged AOE, you pick someone else, not in the targeted tile. Target nexus. You don't do double in that target range. nexus. Yeah. So you still have the range of the spell. So if it's... So, for example, if I had this. Yeah. Every, everything inside it would already be hit. I can target everything inside of it, so adding a target on any of those guys doesn't count because you can't hit the same target twice. But if there's some guy over but here... A, yeah, I could hit them as long as they're within range three of me. Yeah. Did he already just leave? No, I'm looking it up. Oh. Why are you looking it up? This is the way we've been playing forever, and it's the way it's played. Yeah, there's there's a whole long fact about it that I've read. What, what, how do you think it works? That you target the same one twice? No, because it has a defined area that it would not work on an AoE. No, it works on an AoE. You add a target. Yeah. You just add a target outside of the hex that you're out of the you, okay. area you're already affecting. Got I it. did that all the time with Craig. Yeah. He would hit like these three guys and then hit a guy over there for one more shot. Yeah. But that wasn't with his AoE. That was with his... Yes, it was. Um, that was. The multi-target one. It, he would also hit with his three. AoEs. Also with the AoE. I had lots of AoEs, like three target AoEs or that big, now big mudstorm, cursed mudstorm. Oh, there we go. That's what I got it. Did you understand now? No, there was something else that doesn't or that negates that. Uh huh. No, sure. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me read this. No. If an attack ability <clears throat> targets everything within a specified range, add target would do nothing. So yeah, somehow that because you're already yeah. you've already targeted everything. So somehow that in my brain applied oh. to the AOE thing. Since you're already targeting everything in the AOE, you wouldn't add anyway. Yeah, you wouldn't hit anything so in the AOE. So what you're saying you is you're wrong. Yes, I am wrong. <laughs> Wait, you heard it, everyone. Clip it. Save that clip. I didn't so need like, it to be it, repeated five times, though. Just so you know. So it, in, in the thing that you're talking about, where you're let's say you're targeting everything in a range three. You do technically get the third, the added target, but, but there's just no valid it. targets. Yes. Yeah. That would be an interesting attack modifier, though it wouldn't really apply very often. Attack so the same target. Attack. Yeah, like a or maybe a card that allows you to attack multiple targets, but also allows you to attack the same target multiple times. Mm -hmm. That'd be a cool, kind of cool card. Such as like the multiple dudes and the multiple monsters that have multiple targets that oh, target one enemy with or one attack or all attacks. Yeah, 
yeah, they have that card, so it's like, well, it'd be cool if we could. I think some people have talked about a like an item that like a burn item that allows you to do it. Use I don't think it's in just one target. Yeah, times. that wouldn't be bad because then they add be... targets to a single yeah. person. So I'm sure there's some card out there that would probably break that because it'd be like it's already a, a target three, then you enhance it to be an attack four, and <laughs> well, it yeah. Might might have to be they might put some limitation on it for instance like when you duplicate your range attack it has to be a, a single target range so they might have something like that if they're going to do something like that yeah i think they're so because they were talking the, like on the different reddit threads of what item said and that was like the top one and it was like limited like max target three or something like that yeah oh okay who knows Anyway, I should probably go to bed. Same. Gotta work tomorrow. Me too. That was weird. What's that? I exited the, the game, but it just stopped the music in one ear and not the other. <laughs> Maybe you've just gone insane and you're imagining hearing it, hearing it in oh the other ear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.